Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Denier Match with 767 rating versus Destroy01 with 443 ratings, so it will be another high rated DB video, and we're going to see Destroy win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, and they'll decide to go first, 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it, opening hands, we have Talons, Petrodon, Scrap Raptor, Prosperity, and Petrodon, so playing multiple Petrodon, okay, I mean I guess it makes more sense with more Ground Zeno and stuff like that, then they have Ash Blossom, Moonlit, Talon, Smashers, Angler. Oh, they bricked. Yeah, y'all have those. Why are you even asking for main phase? Oh my god, this is the wrong play. How do you have no play and you still make the wrong one? You're not supposed to set Angler because now you can't. T and what can you top deck? It has to be Starter or Prosperity in the Starter because now you can't even draw Blue or Jet or Red or Carrot. Pass, they draw Fossil Dig. I mean, you could draw a Beaver, but like odds are your opponent's gonna have at least one interruption or at least one hand trap. But they Ash the Fossil Dig, and then they're gonna activate Prosperity. I mean, they probably just really don't want them getting OV Raptor. Yeah, they're gonna grab Mist there. I was gonna say, because if they just Fossil Dig, search OV, which is like, I feel like it's a higher chance they search Mist, but if they search OV and just summon it, once they beat over Angler, the game's almost over right there. Also, they have talents live, they're just not using it. They're gonna go miss tag out, bring out arch, arch effect, destroy, go search pill, and then pet effect to go summon, and then pet's gonna bring out OV Raptor. OV Raptor effect, go search baby, and then we're gonna activate talents to take. Yeah, they just submit defeat. So, going on to the next game now. Uh, we are going to go ahead and see Sprite go first again. Opening hands, we have Baby Saurus, Flame Kaiju, Lightning Storm, Double Evolution Pill, OV Raptor. They have Angler, Carrot, Beaver, Prosperity, Starter. So it kind of sucks that they drew 5 Engine. Um, but I mean, Prosperity will hit us non Engine, hopefully. And then drawing double uh, Nimble card is always like, it always feels a little bit bad because you get one less body later on. So you have to make up for that body. Then they're going to go Prosperity for 6. And then look at the top six. Also, they play Lingaribo. They actually care about Ibley that much. That's that's interesting. Uh, look at the top six. And then they're going to grab back Fenrir. That's a pretty good card. Uh, and then put back. Yeah, like the Fenrir just being a summon here. And then it being follow-up. It's also good to see this on their deck list. That way they brick a little bit less. Because like that game one brick, it's so rare to have that. When you have... Three Beaver, two Starter, three Pot of Prosperity, and then you have, what, three, six, probably eight level two extenders. Three Fenrir, that works with any level two to make Sprint. Like, you start getting down to all of it. It's like, this deck should never brick. Um, but then it just does from time to time. Activate Starter, bring out Blue, and then activate the Blue effect. Blue to go search Jet, and then... We can go special summon jet, jet effect, grab double cross, decides to do that before summoning Kara, goes in the sprint, sprint, not gigantic, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I, I thought for sure since we didn't summon Kara, we were just going to use these to make gigantic play around nib, it's like okay that's fair, but no, if they have it, they have it, we just lose to it, I was going to say we just never make gigantic throughout this combo then. We're going to go search out Caddy, Special Summon out Kara, Set Double Cross, End Phase, Special out the Caddy. Okay, we just never went ahead and summoned Beaver after that. I mean, it's not, it's not a bad end board. It's not a bad end board. And then Pass, they draw Pot of Prosperity, so they're going to start out with Pot of Prosperity to go Banish. And then banish six. They're thinking on that. They let it go through. Okay. Um, if this hits dark ruler, it's gonna be crazy. You see Nat Beast Gallant. This is for the uh, the Keystone combo to put back Misk for follow up. And then you obviously just get to make Nat Beast, which is a really good card. Uh, look at the top six. They're gonna grab back the Lost World out of all those. Okay. Um, yeah, it was just like all engine. Like, no going second cards, no Dark Ruler really no more, which just, like, would absolutely punish the opponent. Then they're going to go Lightning Storm just to MST the back row. I like how they said Spell Trap, and they said Spell and Trap question mark. Yeah, so go ahead, try to pop. 
And then they're going to chain the double cross to special summon back out Jet from the graveyard. Okay. And then Jet effect. Go search starter. That's follow up. Yeah, it's always, it's good. Like the Sprite Melfi end board being able to get like a lot of follow up if it wants to or interruptions is nice. And then normal summon OV. OV effect. They're going to chain Caddy. Okay. So bounce back Caddy. Go grab Penny. And then OV Raptor resolves to go search. Grab out Misk. I mean, Misk is broken. Um, they said you first. I can continue. You don't have nothing on res. Nope. So they're going to activate Penny and then just chain Misk. Because obviously they're about to summon Herald of Arclight. Well, I guess you actually don't have to chain Misk. Because, like, we have a Kaiju. But maybe we don't want to Kaiju over that. Okay, or we just Kaiju over that. Okay, okay. Um, let's do that. And then activate Misk effect. Banish, go summon, bring out Arch. And then we're going to go Arch Effect, Destroy Baby, Go Search Pill, and then Activate the Baby Effect. So Baby goes Summon Out Pet, they said Misclick, and then Summon Baby. And they said, mm, okay. Actually, how long did it take them to fix that? They summoned Pet, all oh, 11 seconds later said Misclick. Okay, yeah, it would have been fair if the opponent said no to that. But, you know, they had to go through. Fair enough. We've actually been seeing that a lot. Um... Like, a lot. Like, recently, like, the last month, it just feels like everybody's been letting everybody take plays back. Which is, like, a good thing. Um, just so that way everyone gets the best practice possible. Destroy baby, special baby, baby effect, go bring out giant Rex. And then overlay, make evil swarm accept on night. Okay, so that was their way of popping it again without using Conductor. I was wondering if they were just going to like summon Conductor, destroy baby, and then use that baby to go summon from deck. But, okay, they're going to do it like this. And then they get the baby effect to go summon. So then baby's going to bring out Scrap Raptor. Um, yeah, and they can just combo Scrap Raptor, pop itself, effect... Go grab Scrap Chimera, and then activate Lost World, extra normal summon out Chimera, Chimera, bring out Raptor, since a Dino summon now, Lost World, pass over the token, and then we're going to Link, go into Scrap Wyvern, Wyvern effect, summon out Raptor, and then we get the pop one, and then we're going to activate Wyvern, summon out Raptor from deck, pop token, Lost World protect, and then activate the pet effect, and then pet go bring out Pinkertops, Okay, activate Pill to go banish, bring out Conductor, and then Giant Rex effect, special summon out. Like, this is, this is really good. They could go into, like, uh, oh, I actually don't know what they plan on going into here. Okay, so they're gonna go into Omega. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's fair. Oh, yeah, they also banished Appalooza. Wasn't even thinking about that. So, then they're going to go pass. They draw Talons, Standby Phase, Omega Effect, Put Back Misk. Nice. And then, Standby Phase, Main Phase, they're going to go Normal Summon Beaver. Beaver Effect to go Summon. So, Beaver, bring out Angler. And then, on that Summon, activate Omega Effect. They said Banish Hand? Question mark. Yes. Yep. This is what Omega does. Dice. What? They said Dice and say on your left or right. Lol, bro. It's already RNG. Oh my gosh, don't tell me. They declared the effect. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought they pointed at the card in the hand and the opponent was just like, Alright, you have to roll the dice. I'm not accepting this. It's already RNG. Do you have a response? Yes, dice, no. I'm picking what? Do you have a response to the effect of Omega? Has a card, or has in a card or effect? No. Okay, so Banish Fenrir. Bro, dice. Oh my gosh, why are you so dumb? There is no difference. First of all, as long as you draw for turn and you shuffle like you're supposed to every single time, which you didn't, talents is at the top still, you may have shuffled, it may, be, it, may, it may just be the first card, it may just be rambling, but still, everybody needs to shuffle when you draw for turn. You do it in person. You don't draw for person, you don't draw for turn in person, and you're like, yeah, let me leave this card all the way to the right and these ones to the left so you know which one I drew. No, every time you draw, you, you hand shuffle, you take it, you organize, you, you randomize the, the cards in your hand, and then you start playing. So this is on you. And th this is a random card. Yes, uh, all of these cards, crazy enough, if you do this, 
all of these look exactly the same. These are literally all, this is RNG, it's random whichever one I'm picking, they all look exactly the same. No bro, the ruling don't work, it's so dumb. He'll probably give you attempted cheating, how the ruling says if you choose, it's literally random. It doesn't say dice, if it said dice roll, then yes, you probably should be rolling dice, but even then a lot of people use like coins for stuff like that, but, but okay. Um, they said... Bro, you can call Judge. Hi, hi. Won't banish the card I pick with Omega because he wants a roll. The hand was not in a random order. What? It hasn't been shuffled since he drew for turn. Please shuffle the hand so he can pick. Okay, I mean... I guess? But, like... It's kind of on the opponent, right? Like, I, I feel like Denier Match should be allowed to banish Fenrir here. I just feel like it's kind of dumb, right? The opponent should have shuffled their hand. when They, they should have shuffled their hand before any of this happened. You can use dice. It's more random. You want a die and he wants to pick a card. Picking a card from a shuffled hand is completely random, so we're going with that. Okay, so now we hit Angler. I guess it didn't never really matter. Conductor effect to go ahead, destroy, set their field, and then up next. Well, I mean, like, you know, like, the, the Fenrir was completely dead hit. The Angler... Well, it's not even like it's a completely dead hit. Yeah, it's pretty dead, though. Ang, Ang, Angler is probably just better for them in hand. They're gonna go Talents to take. And then they said, okay. So, what do you want to take? They're gonna take the Evil Swarm Exceton Knight. Go to Battle Phase. Attack Pinkertops. Okay. Activate star. I'm so confused. Why did we take Evil Storm Exceton Knight? And why not take quite literally anything else? Don't you take like... Okay, you can take Conductor there, right? And Conductor will force Pankratops effect to pop Conductor. Or you can take Pankratops, beat over, beat over the Evil Storm Exceton Knight, and then use the effect to pop the Lost World... Or, then you could activate starter, link off the token, and then Pinkertop's pop conductor. There was, like, so many different lines. And, and once again, you found the worst one. Like, it's like the turn one. I, I thought there was no worse line than just passing, but you set the angler. Now it's like this game. What is your goal? Did you... I, I hope you try to Zeus. I really hope you try to Zeus the opponent. Summon blue. Blue goes search jet. Activate pink. No! You should have let them see if they were going to Zeus. I wanted to see. I know this is the right play, but it would have been so much more interesting. So they're going to go past or OV Raptor, bring back Omega. They get back Angler. And that's just already game right there. They could just go battle. But they're going to go Misk Effect. Go ahead and banish. Four. Go summon OV. Lost World 1, OV2, Giant Rex 3, Special Summon Out, Giant Rex, Go Search Out, Baby, Pass Over, A Token, oh, we forgot to do that, okay, sure, it just doesn't matter, Make Dalka, Conductor Attack, Effect Send, Effect Send, Effect Send, they said question mark, yep, it attacks everything, sends it, you take a thousand for each, and then they're just going to attack for game. Okay, well, I guess this one isn't attacking for game. The Omega's attacking for game. <laughs> yep, so GG's, GG. Oh, they said GG? Not really? That's crazy. I mean, that game too was kind of cool. Like, we watched the board get broke and everything like that. But, uh, yeah, game one was bad. And then, I don't know, the Omega thing was a little bit weird. I guess it's whatever. But they, they also, that I guess that's just a PSA. Shuffle your hand when you draw for a turn, even on DB. That's just the best way to do it. That's the best way for everyone to get the best test in. But, yeah, we're going to say that the match is about 44 minutes long. Honestly, uh, about 14 minutes of that is due to judge call. But that's crazy to think that these judge calls have only been lasting, like, 15 minutes. Like... 15 minutes for judge calls. We haven't seen that in a while. And also, it seems like Kitty is the one answering a lot of them. I don't, I don't, I don't even know how I feel about this ruling, though. Like, make them, make them shuffle their hand and then do it. Like, I guess because the opponent didn't. 
say Omega was fine. I mean, they did say Omega was fine, though, but they said use a dice to do it. So maybe they were like, okay, then they should shuffle their hands since they only agreed to dice. I don't know. I don't know. It's a weird ruling because it's just a whole dumb situation when literally these are all random as long as you shuffled your hand. But with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.